Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Evil West. Before we actually assist there, I okay, there is an urge, but I just want to check. I just want to check if there's some money, some bucks lying around, but I don't think so. Even if he doesn't kill us in our sleep, that link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. You listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest. Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. All right, Pharmacon, the next chapter. It's a strange is time to assert yourself, Virgil. Why'd you back Jesse's quest for this ridiculous compound? Just because the scientists at the manor didn't find anything doesn't mean there isn't something there. I mean, did they ever let you take a look? No. We have a habit at Calico of making the impossible happen, Doctor. I fixed Mr. Jesse's gauntlet, made it better even. Scott found the best lead we have with those leeches. If anyone can make that compound work, it's you. Well, find Edgar Cravener, hopefully. I can only say, however, we got here. Those are Edgar's. Must have found that plant here. Or not. And oh, however, you are able to see them. But I'm not judging at all. Don't like the music? Well, I don't hate it. But it's weird in such a situation. Christ, wish I had a map of this place. Imagine what all the stuff with the vampires which is going on here, right? You're being in a swamp like this. And then that music. So what mess? Yep. Agreed. Better music. That was painful. Boy. Oh, 
<gasps> oh boy, that would have been stupid. And typically me. <laughs> if I would have been taken out by the last dude there. Okay, tougher fight than I thought. And I have to say, range combat and dodging suits me actually more. Since I'm somehow not able to block in the right spots. Weird music starts again. Which doesn't matter after all. Yep, more money. More money is better than less money, right? I know that. I'm... As I said, I'm oftentimes quite weird. Gotcha. Something broke the boat, but it looks like you managed to escape. Apparently. Must have been Hello. Hello. He dropped his damn crossbow. I'm sure Edgar wouldn't mind if I took advantage of this little beauty. Rent. Rentier or Rentier Expo. Uh, one of the mo more exotic precise weapons, surprisingly stylish but barely used across the ROI. It's been engineered for both single shots and continuous fire. Equipped the weapon with up. Will do. Will do. Will do. Here we go. Still, in my opinion, against those dudes, that's the currently for me the best way to take them down. And even if they are able to hit me, it doesn't matter since the last dude or oh, the last flyer we kill there actually gives us then HP back Nothing that always. Is better than not retrieving any. Well, actually, practically everyone gives us back some shit, right? I wonder if the bugs. That I, as I said, I'm. As I already said, sometimes my my mind works in mysterious ways, right? I'm always sometimes wondering the bugs if they are randomly generated, <laughs> or if I know it doesn't matter, or if they. A place here and always have, like here, the seven, seven, um, 241, the value, anyways, or the 70 we found before, whether it's random or not. Anyhow, as I said, I'm sometimes a little bit of a weirdo. I mean, good part. is obviously that it has more shots than the rifle but the downside obviously is that it is not doing as much damage as the rifle does did i end it yeah end its life that's actually what I meant here. Alright, on it goes. Go through, buddy. Thank you. Hello. Okay, I'm... Wait, no. Is this the way on? That's useful. Well, I'll hope. The question is, I don't know which way to go. Definitely does. Jesus. Who the hell would want to set up camp here? 
What was that noise? Okay, I just want to double check then the other way is actually a dead end where we find something, hopefully. Let's hurry up. Or not. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. It definitely is 250 bucks. Although I am still looking for some more skins um, somehow and perks to find. I mean, we can find them. That doesn't automatically mean we put in upgrade or perk points. So finding them does not mean we have automatically them equipped, so to say. I know that sentence really did not make sense at all. That's neat, right? A lot of blood. Blood everywhere in one big ass spider web. Burn. I hate spiders. Yep, in games. I really hate them too. No, I cannot burn them, all right. All right, hello. Little chest, I like you. 229 bucks. Much appreciated as well. Hello, come on. Twisted and covered with thorns. It grows only in the marshlands. They're teeth marks. Oh, it's sucked dry. Why? Some desperate soul looking for a cure? Uh, it's of no use to me now. All right. That eight legged freak was hunting him down. Oh, okay, that's not the way, but that is the way. Guess this is that giant arachnid's lair. But that, you guys, right now, then, brings us right now, right now, right now, to the end of this episode, and you know it, I, as usual, really, really, Thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, oh, we are nearly level 8. Um, I see you in the next episode where we hopefully and probably gonna reach level 8. For now, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.